This year's Breakthrough Awards feature a remarkable personal journey into the world of living with disability. The other two nominees are the writer-director of a comedy feature film about a botched robbery and a historian who tells a true story of a tragic mining disaster. Three very different nominations. Let's take a look at their work. Kerry Collins, director, convenience. Open the till now! Is that not where it is? The shift only started 57 minutes ago. Everything before that's locked in the cell. Then open it! It's in the office. And the general public aren't allowed in there. Well, I look like a member of the general fucking public. No. What did I do? Open it now and you'll be cleaning his face off the counter. No, don't make me count to no, three. Liability insurance only covers one, two. Stop! Stop! Are you going to open the door? No. Three. Yes. Ellen Jones, presenter. Pan y gorson o'r fynwent fawr yma, yn un naw dim naw, ond o'n siŵr yn meddwl byddai yn cymryd flynyddau i lenwyr erwa hyn, ond fel ddigwyddodd hi, mewn pedair blynedd ond o'n torri resi o feddau, ac oedd y cypal gorffwys bech tu ôl i fi dan i sang gyda chyrff y glywyr oedd wedi colli bywydau yn hanchoa fawr sy'n hynny. James Lusted, presenter, taith fawr y dyn bach. Dwi'n gwneud bach o ymchwil um, o gwmpas gwefan a gwahanol heddiw a dwi wedi dod ar draws uh, hogan o Aberteifi uh, o'r enw Hanna a hogan fengaf yng Nghymru sydd yn, yn defnyddio cŵn tywys. Dwi'n meddwl bydd o'n bwysig iawn i, ni weld rhywun sydd efo yn amgolwg i weld sydd maen nhw yn, yn gweithio. Um, yn, yn cael ymlaen yn y tŷ, yn mynd o gwmpas y le i le, bob math o bethau. The winner is Kerry Collins. Convenience. Thank you. God, I really wasn't expecting that. Um, Tiochen van Bafta. Um, I really need to say a massive thank you to everybody who worked on this film because it was a very small film with ambitions to be something much bigger and I think hopefully maybe we achieved that. Um, massive thank you to the producer Ray Panthaki for believing in me and giving me an opportunity because I think we all need someone to give us an opportunity in our careers um, and giving me a chance to make my first feature film is obviously the biggest thing. Um, and massive thank you to my amazing wife Jane for letting me go and make a feature film six weeks after she'd given birth um, and then letting me use the baby in one of the scenes as well because <laughs> we couldn't afford to hire an actor baby whenever that's. Thank you very much. <laughs> So Kerry, congratulations for your award for convenience tonight. It's such a hilarious and original premise. Uh, how did the story come about in the first place? Um, well, I mean, actually, it was introduced that I'd written and directed it, but I only directed it, so I should probably <laughs> well, I should have said that in my speech. Um, it was actually, it came to me um, through the producer, who I'd known a few years, um, and he'd been developing it with the writer, Simon Fantazzo, um, and him and Adil Akhtar were already attached as the actors, so... Um, it was just, it came to me, I read the script, it was absolutely amazing, and I just thought I couldn't believe my luck that that might be my first feature film, <laughs> to be able to have a script that good. Obviously it has very funny moments in it, but it, 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 it has a real pace to it, a real energy. It, it must have been fun to work on. It was very hard to work on, yes. <laughs> it was all night shoots, so it's four weeks of night shoots. I think anyone that's ever done a single night shoot will know how hard that is. And it was all set in a petrol station, which was an existing petrol station, so... Um, after four weeks, like that smell of petrol is really sort of getting to you and starting to send everyone a bit too lally. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It was a great script. It was an amazing cast. For my, again, for my first film, I couldn't believe how lucky I was to work with people like Vicky McClure and Adil Akhtar and Vern Troyer and Anthony Head. So it really was an incredible experience. Any standout moments, funny moments that you can remember from the shoot? Um, probably the funniest, I think, was because it was an existing shop. Um, so we were working there through the evenings and then every morning we were putting it back for the shop to open again. And um, so one evening this guy comes in, drunk as a skunk, about three in the morning, and um, basically wants to buy an adult magazine. And he, he sort of ignored all the runners and everyone in fluorescent jackets saying, this is a film shoot, you know, closed set, you can't come in. And he's just saying to sell someone who gives a whatever. And, uh, and then the shop owner, who was there on set every day, actually said, well, I give a 
<laughs> and uh, bundled him out, even though the shop owner was about, about maybe five foot, and then this guy was this sort of barely six foot rugby player who wanted to buy his adult magazine because he'd been to the pub. And uh, so, yeah, it was kind of, and the whole film is about that sort of experience, about the weird people that you meet in the night in a petrol station. So it was really tied into actually the whole thing. So now you've officially broken through, uh, what's next for you? <laughs> um, I've actually got another film which I'm shooting um, in Cardiff, um, a romantic comedy, um, next May or June, hopefully, um, which has been supported by Film Agency Wales. Um, and yeah, so we're just casting it at the moment, so it's uh, very exciting.